we know that by the year 2050, there will be nine billion mouths to feed on this planet of ours. That's the reality. The challenge gets greater the bigger the number of people we have on the planet. There's no one silver bullet. There's no one magic solution here. There is a good chance that we can improve the, um, the scale of agriculture to grow crops, especially in, in arid countries. But what if we use that crop to feed animals instead of humans? We currently maintain a global herd of 60 billion land animals to provide us with our meat, dairy, eggs and leather goods. Research is the engine that drives innovation, and innovation is what helps to develop solutions to food security challenges. This is certainly an exciting time to be an agricultural scientist. And over the course of the next several decades, over the course of the next 30 years, by 2050, when the world's population exceeds 9 billion, we will need to double this herd. The idea is that you share ideas, you network, and you figure out ways to collaborate to meet this food challenge. What could the future of animal products look like? There is going to be a big issue. Water is almost the, the gold of the future. But today, my task and the task of this forum isn't really just to talk about the problem, it's to talk about solutions to the problem. Can research once more save the day? With the leadership of the Crown Prince, His Highness General Sheikh Mohammed, we're working together to make real progress in improving the lives of some of the world's poorest communities. In the last century, agricultural development achieved wonders. What's needed actually is a portfolio of different solutions. I'm constantly amazed by the innovation I see coming from your region. You combine the financial resources and innovative spirit needed to imagine and create a better future. 